Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. Well, Donald Trump Jr. just dropped a bombshell that we will be sharing with you all today. Donald Trump Jr. just teamed up with his father, Donald J. Trump, to expose the truth in an effort to come back and save America, all right? Donald Trump Jr. just went to New Hampshire with his father and gave an incredible speech gathering together America. There were so many people who showed up, so I wanna cover this because I think it's a beautiful message that not only Donald Trump has, but that Donald Trump Jr. has as well. And call me crazy, but dare I say that I think this is such a loving family and such a loving relationship between Donald Trump and his son, Donald Trump Jr. Such a great father-son relationship that quite frankly, you know, I wish I had a relationship. I wish I, if I, if I, you know, I <laughs> feel envious almost of Donald Trump Jr. having a father like Donald Trump because I think that's just, Beautiful. So I really do believe Donald Trump when he said that this is our last chance to save America. And I am doing everything that I can to play my part by sharing the truth. So if you like that, thumbs up the video and subscribe. And before we jump in, we're going to pray and read the Bible because God comes first. Amen. Comment amen if you believe that God comes first. I truly think that, you know, having God in the center of our lives and in the center of our heart and our nation is the answer. And Donald Trump agrees. He, he said that in America, we don't worship government, but we worship God. And I wish more people knew that message. So let's pray. This is about God's love. This Bible verse from the first book of Corinthians Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Amen. Comment amen down below. Love never fails. I love this Bible verse. It's so powerful. And we know, we truly do know, that God's love never fails. All right, let's tune in to the Donald Trump Jr. update. Let's dive in. So I wanted to start off with Donald Trump Jr. getting a warm welcome from the New Hampshire Volunteer Army at Trump headquarters in Manchester. New Hampshire is fired up to finish off Nikki Haley and get on with the business of getting Joe Biden from out from the White House. This is Donald Trump Jr. heading in. Let's take a look. People love Trump Jr. Look how awesome that is. Trump, Trump, Trump. If you've never been to a Trump rally, this might look crazy to you, but if you have, this is very normal. Everyone's always got big smiles, everyone's hopeful, and everyone's excited. It's such a great atmosphere. Yeah, New Hampshire, Donald J. Trump. 
So I wanted to play a little bit of his speech because I think it's really cool. Let's tune in. But they do the Afghan withdrawal and the adult that was the uh, Secretary of State got on a podium like this in front of Congress and said, they are, and I quote, after 20 years of war with the Taliban, they are shocked and dismayed that the Taliban, the Taliban, did, no, 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 he knew that. They're shocked and dismayed that the Taliban did not install a more, and I quote, diverse and inclusive government in Afghanistan. Yeah. What? I'm waiting for like Ashton Kutcher to jump out of a cave somewhere. Ah, I'm being punched. I'm like, I'm not camp. Like, am I on the Truman Show? Like, I'm not and give it away like the pattern is it. wow i love trump jr you know what i just realized my friends it's like trump jr i think he could be a leader for the future generations like after his father donald trump i would love to see trump jr get involved even i mean he's already so involved i don't know if you guys know this but donald trump jr has a podcast he releases a new show like every single week Donald Trump Jr. is fired up. I wanted to play this clip of Donald Trump Jr. ripping on Nikki Haley and Fannie Willis. Like, Donald Trump Jr. knows what's up and he's exposing the truth about the left, about Fannie Willis, and about Nikki Haley. Let's tune in. He was talking about Bidenomics and he says, I think people are seeing the the downsides of it and that we can get our country back. They, the, this guy just asked him, do you think your father will be in prison by the end of the year? What the heck? Trump Jr. The American people aren't stupid. They see right through. And I think if you take a look at the polls, people believe and people trust and people have hope in Donald J. Trump. Everyone wants to try to sell them something, but they, I think they see through the nonsense. They thought, saw through the lies. You know, we were told the adults are back in charge, and look at what's happened to the world in the last three years. I, I'm not one of these guys that needs bullet points. You know, I, I go and I speak from my heart. That's that's what I do. I'm not a politician. I don't do this for a living. I just do it because I believe it. I want to do what's right for the American people. Yes. It should be. It should be. I mean, the Democrat policy is creating, you know, a, a humanitarian crisis like we've never seen before. It's ridiculous. The Rhinos, the Republicans in Washington, D.C. Well, we'll make it 5,000 a day forever a year. It, it's only incentivizing, but it's literally a humanitarian crisis. People dying on the way up. They want to be in every war in the history of the world. They should vote for Nikki Haley if they want to get back to peace uh, and prosperity. Uh, the choice is clear that it's Trump. Yeah, Trump. Wow, so he's a, he, Donald Trump Jr. really doesn't like Nikki Haley at all. So here's Donald Trump Jr. talking about uh, exposing the truth about Fox News. Listen to this. Are you kicked off of Fox News? I, th I assume so. Uh, you know, I've been told that, you know, I'm on, you know, the, the blacklist. Well, I don't know. The, the last time I was on, I think it was like August. Uh, so almost a year ago. Oh, wow. At the time, my father hadn't yet announced. I think I was polling second or third myself even with trump in there right. you know not always i was like don't show him that poll please like <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to hear about that one we'll just keep that one quiet they're like no no it's really good you're doing it. i'm like no no, no I, don't, I don't need to you know it's gonna make things gonna be really it. awkward it just went dark and I, I i assume as as you and i probably both know there are mandates there and they make decisions and they want to control who that person is and you you saw which way they were going for quite some time uh it was a fluff fest like i've never seen uh, mm -hmm. for, you know, quite a few months. Donald Trump actually has been very vocal about how Fox News has not been vocally supporting him. Uh, Trump is saying, like, a lot of the polls that Fox News shows 
are like old polls from CNN that show that Trump's not doing so well. They're, they're you know, supporting the, some of the other candidates a lot more and they didn't invite Donald Trump Jr. to be, usually Donald Trump Jr. goes on Fox News like every month. I, I feel like he used to go on there all the time and he said he hasn't been invited on in over a year. I mean, I don't know. I don't think that's coincidental at all. There, and that seems to be transitioning a little bit away because perhaps they uh, see the inevitable and they read the tea leaves. And again, they want that access to power that unfortunately is such a big part of today's political process. Are you? Wow, very interesting there. And here's one more clip of Donald Trump Jr. talking about certain gender issues, let's say. So I've gotten in trouble because I tried to... If you're a 45 year old dude and you want to identify as a woman, honestly, I could care less. I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to hear about it. Stay the fuck away from our kids. But you know, there, there's an element. It's just like, do you know? I, I don't want to control what someone does. There's a libertarian streak in me in that. But but again, I, like I don't want to have to be forced to listen to your pronouns and pretend that I believe, uh, you know, that you are. Uh, you know, a fairy godmother that, that, you know, that's not whatever you decide to be, the ever-changing pronouns. I certainly uh, am not going to accept that if I misgender you because you have a beard uh, that, you know, I should be punished criminally. The bull that we've seen um, come out of these people is, is ridiculous. Dang, Donald Trump Jr. does not hold back. He really does take after his father in that sense. I wanted to play this so Donald Trump Jr., Eric Trump, and former President Donald Trump were all uh, deposed in this New York civil fraud trial. And I wanted to play the clip of Donald Trump Jr. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start off with Donald Trump and then it's very short and then we'll get into Trump Jr. because this is very, very interesting obligation here to any involvement in the statement of financial condition to the best of my knowledge to meet your obligation here of presenting the information to counter in accordance with gap was alan weisselberg responsible for that check to the floor i would say yes earned your bs in economics from wharton um do you have any familiarity with an acronym GAAP, G-A-A-P? Generally accepted accounting principles, yes. Okay. How did you become- Donald Trump Jr. is smart. You got to remember that. He had an he got an accounting degree, I think. Did, he, did I hear that right? Familiar with that acronym? Probably an accounting 101 at Wharton. Okay. <laughs> um, what do they teach you about generally accepted accounting principles in Wharton? Uh, well, I'm not an accountant, but that they are generally accepted. <laughs> Anything else? That's, that's pretty much what I remember from accounting when I want, so. <laughs> This whole deposition is like a joke. Like, I, I mean, is this, is this serious? This is seriously what the deposition's like? Have you told me everything you know about that? <laughs> uh, basically. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure I could come up with some creative uh, stuff to kill time, but I'd be doing neither of us a favor in terms of educating ourselves. Uh, thank you. Um, so, have, fair to say, you've never been an employed. You've never been employed in a position that required you to apply GAP to your work. Um, no, not that I'm aware of. If I said. Like, I feel like that whole deposition with Donald Trump Jr. is like a joke. Donald Trump Jr. gave an awesome speech in Iowa as well. I wanted to go. He says, end this ridiculous primary now. He's speaking to voters to vote for Donald John Trump. Let's tune in. How's it going tonight? Everyone doing well? Yes. All right. I apologize. I know this was supposed to be like three hours ago, but... Uh, <laughs> Let's just say this weather has made travel a little bit difficult, okay? So it- How beautiful would it be to be able to attend one of these? Look at this Trump country. I love that poster. It was a little different. We got delayed in Charlotte, the airplane there, there but we made a lot of friends on the airplane here who all seem to be ready to caucus for Donald Trump tonight. Yeah. So what we gotta do, guys, and you see what they're doing, right? We gotta make sure all of our friends show up. And I know this is soon, so even if it looks like you're not paying attention to me. Get on the phone right now and text your friends. Let them know. You can even whisper if you want to call. <laughs> Let them know, because I see exactly what's happening right now. 
They're trying desperately to suppress the vote by saying you have it in the bag. Wow, very interesting. Uh, I'm not going to play it because the whole thing is 40 minutes long. But here is Donald Trump Jr. calling out this New York civil fraud trial with Letitia James. He's, taught, he's, he's calling it political persecution. What do you think about this? Tune in. You know what? I, I, I think it went uh, really well if we were actually dealing with logic and reason uh, the way business is conducted. But unfortunately, the Attorney General has brought forth a case that is purely a political persecution. Boom, shakalaka. Donald Trump Jr. Calling, hit, calling her out. Uh, the banks in question made hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, think about this, right? They are not claiming that they are victims. They are not saying that they were misled. They are saying that they did their own due diligence. Yeah, I don't understand. If, like, if the banks are happy, they made money from the Trump organization and all these real estate deals. I, like... If the banks say that there's there were no issues, how does how does this make any sense? Uh, but that doesn't matter because I guess in the uh, attempt to get Trump, the attorney general can go ahead and try to, I guess, make more millions for the biggest banking institutions in the world who have already made millions. I mean, I think it's a truly scary precedent for New York. She, he's talking about new, you know, uh, Letitia James, who... You know, she just became the attorney general not too long ago. You got to remember, the Trump organization has been doing business in New York for decades. And actually, you know, it, the Trump organization really was a huge positive on, on, on New York, the state. I mean, think about Trump Tower and how Trump actually, you know, created this inspirational environment in New York and now you have this new New York Attorney General who you know she's she really doesn't like Trump at all if you've seen any of the clips it's it's pretty wild and and now it's like Trump Jr. Eric Trump Donald Trump they're all facing this burden from them uh for me for example before even having a day in court I'm apparently guilty uh of fraud for relying on my accountants to do, wait for it, accounting. <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. is hilarious and he's exposing the truth. Donald Trump Jr. also shared this, happy to see Ron DeSantis endorse my father and call to unite the entire GOP around him to defeat rhino Nikki Haley and ultimately crooked Joe Biden. We need the entire America First movement working together as a team to defeat the radical left in November. Yeah, Donald Trump also uh, said a big congratulations to Ron DeSantis and basically said thank you uh, to Ron DeSantis as well and said that they're probably going to end up working together. So that was a huge move by Ron DeSantis to drop out of the race, endorse Trump, and of course, not endorse Nikki Haley. So that was a huge, huge move. And Donald Trump Jr. is recognizing that. Now, here are some photos from uh, New Hampshire just moments ago. Look how many people are showing up. And I see a lot of Trump posters. And people are excited to listen to Donald Trump Jr. I mean, you got people on the balconies. You got people crowded. I mean, it's standing room only. It, it's so cool to just see the amount of people showing up in support of Donald John Trump. And I, I just have to say, you know, big, big kudos and big props to Donald Trump Jr. for showing up for his father. I just think that's really awesome. They both really don't like Nikki Haley and they, you know, they want to really make sure that in New Hampshire, Donald Trump is the winner there to secure not not only one victory in Iowa, but also one in New Hampshire and then heading over to South Carolina and other states as well. So pretty cool, awesome update from Donald Trump Jr. today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless and let's go Trump, baby. Bye now.